that you are sitting here with like little to no education trying to talk to people about white privilege is white privilege. Tell me one thing I said that's wrong so and don't use that's an so argument from authority. So, so, that's like so Whoa! I, a good argument. I have a degree. Don't I'm arguing from authority because I have I'm telling you my life experience. That's not your life experience. Name that's a different one. That's a hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we'll be reacting to Charles Kirk, Candace Owen, and racism. Guys, let's get straight into this. Go ahead. All right, so I'll start off with my credentials since apparently they matter. Oh, they definitely don't matter. I'm an eight year military veteran. I'm a college student. Thank I'm you. a black woman. And I believe that white privilege exists. So we're going to start with that. Thank you for your service. Thank and you for the your reason service. why white privilege exists is because you guys refuse to acknowledge the history that put people in this position. You want to tell me that white privilege doesn't exist when white people had a upper hand for 250 years to develop generational wealth and that black people didn't get the right to vote until the 60s and you're going to tell me that white privilege doesn't exist? So, that sounds like so it exists all, because you guys black, got the yeah, upper hand. Yeah, what, what's funny about that is blacks are, are do, were doing better during Why that time. Why do we always under, call people under, no, because, well, because you Because you I'm did. Black. Can we just be black people? Can we just be like African Americans or something? Why are we just The black blacks? community? How would you like it said? How, what makes you feel better on the inside? Really anything else other than what you're saying. What, what, tell me. I'll, I'll say how you want anything it. Anything else. I'll how you need it. Tell me how, what makes you feel better. Literally good. anything else other than what you're saying. Okay, anything else. Why is that anything else, right? During In the Jim Crow era, blacks were doing better. Economically, we're outpacing whites under the Jim Crow era. Then we were uh, doing, then we are doing, it probably done. has then to do with today, the fact that we had our own communities before the fucking KKK the came and burned the them KKK down. The KKK were Democrats, but give me a second. So after 22 trillion dollars of government handouts and a black president for after for, how many years of slavery years, and 44 white today, presidents, we were in the Jim 44 Crow white male possible? presidents, oh, I 97 know, percent white male Congress. So you're actually the reason why people like us can't do well because they sold you your, our oppression and you bought it. Blacks were doing better Barrett. under the Jim Crow era. If you acknowledge the oppression of other people, we can heal from it. No, we but can't. But if you want no, to we ignore can't. it, we, we won't can't. have anything happen. That's not how. That's not how this works. Dialogue and acknowledging things doesn't make us suddenly rich. Whoa. So, there's a it's a real I, there's a question I do want to ask, which I can't seem to get an answer. What can she not do in America that a white person can do? What opportunity? You served in the military. You've made good choices. You're getting rewarded for them. You're going to live in the American middle class. What privilege do I have that you don't have that is based on skin color, not on wealth or socioeconomic status? Please. The fact that you are sitting here with like little to no education trying to talk to people about white privilege is white privilege. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Tell honestly, me one thing I said that's wrong that's so and don't use that's an so argument from authority. So, that's like so Whoa! Make a good argument. I have a degree. Don't I'm arguing from authority because I have I'm telling you my life experience. That's not your life experience. Name that's a different one, thing. Really? I'm sorry. Did you live my thing. life? That means nothing. Did you live my life? That means that's a different thing. You're not smarter than him because you have a degree. Just so you know that. That's a fallacy. That I can do. That's a fallacy. Name one thing that you can't do that I can do. Um, I don't know. I can't make a whole dollar what you can't why oh my god you're, you're trying to tell me in the military women aren't paid the same as men for equal work um in the military up until two years ago women weren't even allowed to do most of the jobs that answer the question do. you just said you couldn't make a dollar you said you could not make a dollar you serve in the military which not is your... to mention that people in the Sorry. military actually get paid a bullshit Wage, but we're not going to talk about that. Now we're moving Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. You want to say that what, everyone what, in the military what can not pay a shitty wage. There's a feminist so lie, that makes it right. Lie, and they also sell, there's so many different ways they sell your oppression, and she has purchased all of them today. So right now we are on sexism, right? So she's saying that I can't make a full dollar. Yes, you can. If women stop Whoa. going in, I bet he got paid more to be here than you did. Okay. If women stop going into career fields like fashion and vogue and journalism, and, psychology. and we start going into fields like engineering, the, like engineering Business. and hard academics, Finance. we will make the exact same money that if men. Not the the, the uh, wage gap is a myth and a, a myth. lie. It's a myth and a lie. Okay. It's, it's actually a myth and a lie. I understand that you need to be oppressed, but you are you have just heard from two black people that haven't purchased their oppression from the Democrat Party. Respect that. And, and, and what what frustrates me is you served our country which deserves to be applauded. And you have lived a life of a victor, and you have the gumption to tell me you're a victim without evidence. You were not able to cite one thing that you cannot do that I can do. 
if you make good choices, you will get those choices rewarded. And you brought zero evidence except an argument from an authority and an insult to my lack of a college degree of which I am so proud of because I'm not indoctrinated because I didn't go to college. <laughs> Guys, if I'm being honest, she really is angry for the fact that they are trying to hide the fact that she feels like that same racism never existed. And that's what they're saying. They're just saying, right now, a black man can do what a white man can do. And we have that freedom right now. And we should just let go of the past. We're not saying we should not remember what happened, but like, stop feeling oppressed. Like, right now you have the opportunity to, to do whatever you want. You have the opportunity to be happy, work, get your bag up and everything. But like, the, the anger, some black people still have this anger about what happened and it's, it's just there. And this is something some black people, I'm not saying black, this is something some people who were enslaved used to do fraud and they just put it like they support our grandfathers why don't we make them pay statements like this but like if we think about it they are making the money and you are trying to defraud them of the money why not you work the way they are working and make the same money like it's just easy and i feel this this story that have been sold to us that we are victims and this story that have been sold to women that men men are superior to them and they need to fight to be equal like there's nothing like that i feel women have more advantage than men if a woman and a man fight right now the police will arrest the man and leave the woman like it's crazy but like it's the truth and no man will actually confess or say that my woman is hitting me and they'll bag it and first we're gonna be shouting that men should be treated fairly as women because the way things are going like it's going rapidly fast and for me i would say this black and white i believe we are i really don't want to say we are equal but like <laughs> to be honest this is still it's still stuck with me to be honest like i i don't really think black and white are equal based on asking a white person is easier to trust than a black person yes based on you just intervene to different people come to a black country and a white man wants to get the job you just feel like he's qualified you know this kind of thing based on the fact that we're colonized by them we feel this kind of way that white people are superior than us and it's it's just there based on the fact that they are white and you, you just feel happy you see the white man let's say it's it, i feel it's an illusion though but like i feel everybody needs to know the truth and Based on the fact, the same way people see Muslims as terrorists does not mean they are. You get me? So we just need to know the truth and understand. Like with wisdom, I think we all can flourish. But guys, tell me what you think about this video. Just to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.